Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK and today we have news and today's news is coming from the guys at Epic and they're talking about the release of Unreal Engine 4.24. There's a roadmap release, there is a Trello account you can follow, you can also find these things in the forum but let's just talk about the main updates that will be coming through to Unreal Engine 4.24. The animation update is going to be coming and they're creating something called the inertial blending. So this is still in beta and this would help you create natural procedural transitions between poses and it is based on the bone velocity of the outgoing pose. The next thing which is coming over to the animation is the animation blueprint linking. Now this is also in beta and as well is an extension to the sub instance system which would give you the option of actually going through and creating some sort of dynamic switching to subsections of an animation graph. This in turn would enable multi-user collaboration and memory saving. There are also audio updates that will be coming and these include the stream caching, the audio synthesizer and also the audio mixer. The editor is also not left out when it has to do with updates that will be coming. There is updates for the data smith and also for the sun and sky actor. There is an extended editor layout update and also the new project update. I will actually put link in the description so you guys can check these things out and I think one of the things they are focusing for this particular one is for film animation and also for architecture because now there is a data smith improvement for both 3d studio max ketchup CAD, and axf within the editor update there is also a new toolbar for chaos fracture plugin which is still in its experimental stage but of course it's good to actually have this one now and there is a couple of dev updates that will be coming and one of the dev update tools that will be coming has to do with the auto sdk feature which will enable customers to distribute target platform sdks while configuring them directly in unreal engine there is an unreal build tool there is an automation tool and the unreal editor are all designed to work seamlessly with the auto sdk there is also a build agent tool that is also coming to the developers link to where you can read all of this is going to be in the description so you can check these things out one of the cool updates that is also coming to this version of unreal 4.24 is you know the geometry update so the geometry update is actually putting a smile on my face right now and it has to do with the modeling mode this mode is still in its experimental stage but what it allows you to do is you can go into unreal engine right now and you can create your static meshes use them as actors and also use them as components directly in your 3d viewport there is also another modeling mode that has to do with sculpting tool sets that is also within the experimental stage so you can find simplified features of 3d sculpting tools that you get in modbox and zbrush and you can just do some very basic sculpting things directly there there is a mobile update coming there is a network update coming link to where you can find this is in the description and still speaking about updates you may want to check out the online media framework updates which now has an added encoding for you know amd gpus there are also rendering updates that you can find that has a whole lot of things that i would suggest you go through and check them out there are also updates that has to do with virtual production and xr update now these are a whole lot of things coming to one app and the guys at epic games have never failed to give us tremendous quality updates every single time that they release this tool if you want to download this it is about 10.1 gig as at the time which i was trying to get this downloaded and you can go ahead check these things out try them and see what you can do with them the guys at epic games are strongly advising that you don't use this thing for production you can only try these things and you know test out the beta features that are coming the full release note is also going to be available so that you can check these things out it's really fun to actually look at epic games every single time you know with the whole updates that they're coming with starting from the beginning of the year the guys at epic games have purchased tools brought developments here and there and most of the tools that they've purchased they've actually gone ahead to make them free starting from you know twin motion to the hair and shave and to so many other tools out there that they have purchased there's just so many cool things that the guys at epic games have been releasing and it's really really interesting to see them come up with this update which actually goes a long way to say that the guys at epic games really have artists in mind and this is actually minus the idea of the free marketplace content that they get to give out every single month so it is just super impressive and i'm really really happy with the guys from epic games tell me what you think about these updates coming i would like to know what your thoughts are in the comment section and if you use unreal engine you like this video you learned something from this go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this
Peace.